you will often come across questions around the array in DSA rounds if you are appearing for a front-end interview. Don't worry, I am here to help you crack your dream job. My name is Vedant and you are watching JavaScript Array Question Series on JS Cafe. Today we are going to solve the very famous question of array at this two so. Now let us jump into the question. You will be given an array of integer nums and an integer target. Return indices of two numbers such that they add up to target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. You can return the answer in any order. So what the question is uh, saying that you will be given an array of integers that is assigned to variable nums and you will have a number, uh, basically an integer target, 9. Your goal is to find two numbers such that they add up to this target value and you have to return the indices of those two numbers. For example, in this example 1, you can see that indices 0 and indices 1, that is uh, 2 and 7, they add up to value 9 and they have returned 0, 1 uh, inside the array. You can also return 1, 0 because the question states that you can uh, return a value in any order. I hope you got the question. Okay, so now let us try to solve the question and understand the concept behind it. So let us uh, grab the example. That is this. So we have uh, 2, 7, 11, and 15 uh, in the array of nums, and we have a target of 9. So wouldn't it be possible if we just um, have a map? Okay, we have a map that will contain a key that would also contain a value. And inside this map, what we are targeting is we are going to put the numbers against the indices. So what, uh, let's suppose if we are iterating 2, we will put 2 over here. And since it is an index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 will be against 0. 7 will be against 1 and so on. Okay. Sounds fair, right? So what we will do is we will start iterating over these numbers one by one. And we are going to check that if, if target minus number is present inside the map, it means that we have a solution. So what we will do is we will start iterating from uh, the very beginning. And we will check that if that number is present in the map or not. So we will start uh, from 2 that is at index 0 and we have an empty hash map. So we check that if target minus 2, if 9 minus 2 which is 7 is present in hash map or not. So we don't see anything in the hash map. Then we move forward. But before moving forward what we will do is we will put uh, number 2 against uh, index 0 in the hash map okay so now we come to 7 now 7 is at index 1 now we will check if target minus 7 which is 9 minus 7 is equals to 2 which is present in hash map or not we see that this is present in hash map then what we will do is it means that we have a solution so we will get the index from the hash map, which is 0, we will get this over here. We will get this 0 and we will get this particular index, which we are iterating and we will return it. So this is the solution which we are going to implement. Now let us try to write the code for the same. So if you want to solve the question in JavaScript, you have to first uh, go to this drop down and select JavaScript over here. And in the prompt, you will be given the syntax. So uh, you can see that clearly that this function is accepting param uh, numbers, which is an array and another param that is a target, which is also a number. And it is expecting to return us an array of the numbers. Now we are going to create a map. So let's say const map equals to new map. We have created a map. Now what we are going to do is we are going to iterate over each element of the array and we are going to check that if it is present inside the map or not. 
So to iterate over the uh, indices, we are going to use the for in loop for calls index in nulls. Right. What we have to find, we have to find the pair target. So pair target. So pair target would be nothing. It would be target minus nulls of index. And we see that if map dot has pair target, then return index comma map dot get pair target. Okay. If this target is not present, then what we are going to do, we are going to set that particular value inside the map. So we are going to do man dot set nums of i nums of index actually comma um uh, index now let us try to run this code and see how it is behaving accepted now let's try to submit it good it is working fine the time complexity and the space complexity for the solution is big O of n because we are creating a map to store n number of integers and we are iterating over the array once. So since we are having a map to store the data, the space complexity is big O of n and we are iterating over the array integers once. So thus time complexity is big O of n. So I hope you like the solution. Uh, this was all in this video. Till then, take care. Goodbye. See you in the next one.